All right. Welcome back, everyone. It is Patrick, and today is December 10th, and it is Thursday, and we are going to talk about some of the news going down with Bitcoin and XRP into some of the top headlines in the news today. I want to keep you guys informed. We are doing uh, all the news on this channel, so make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button if you like it. Well, getting into the news right now, guys, I want to start out with an article. Where is it? Here. That the new institutional player, Mass Mutual, purchases $100 million in Bitcoin. And so the, basically the, it says right here, the company report reportedly hopes to achieve measured yet meaningful exposure in the growing economic aspect for the digital world. So this shows that new institutional players are coming into the Bitcoin environment. If you look down here, you can see that uh, the purchase comes as major institutional players are adopting Bitcoin for the first time and going longer on crypto investments. It says right here in September, business intelligent firm MicroStrategy purchased more than 100. 425 million in Bitcoin as as a reserve asset. This week, the company announced that it would invest the proceeds from 400 million securities offering into Bitcoin as well. So this this shows that a lot of institutional players are coming in. We know that the institutional money is what pushes Bitcoin up. We saw like the halving happen. You know, a lot of uh, basically a lot of people are losing losing faith in the dollar. So this is a really good. Um, thing for Bitcoin, the more that these intu institutional investors come in, the more we're going to see the price go up. So that's really good news, guys. Another thing is the XRP, which everyone loves. You know, we've seen XRP. If we look right here, I think it's at, it was at 60 cents last time I checked. We'll do a quick look right here. Um, it went up from 20 to 60 cents in the last week. It's at 57, hovering right about 57 right now. It's still pretty good. But if you look right here, um, XRP, where's our XRP? It says XRP. Uh, this is just a closer look at one of the top three cryptos. And it basically says that the market capitalization is still 85% away from that all time high of $3.30 that we saw in 2017. I know it already kind of 2X, guys, which is not bad. A lot of people have a lot of faith in uh, XRP because it does these cross border payments. You know, they seem like they're doing a lot with the regulatory. And the, uh, they seem like they're the most regulated crypto. A lot of uh, There was also something in the news earlier this week saying they're going to burn half their crypto because a lot of people, uh, they might be forced to burn it. So that might actually drive the value up higher too. It's saying as the second largest altcoin by market capitalization, XRP is hardly far from consideration during pe periods of significant bullish enthusiasm for crypto market. Despite being 85% down in January 2018, recent spikes have sparked noticeable interest in XRP as investors consider viable diversification candidates for crypto portfolios. So a lot of people that don't want to do Bitcoin because, you know, it only went up like 1.5%, they'll get into XRP, which will be, you know, it already did like a 2.5% increase, which is not bad. You would have made a, you know, you would have made more than just investing in Bitcoin. For the first time, investors, a crypto like this or one of the top 20 other ones besides Bitcoin would have been a better investment than Bitcoin to start out. As the discussion about XRP often criticisms of Ripple, blockchain payments from the firm created the XRP token. They argue Ripple's ownership. This is kind of like a negative impact. The majority of the token supply, I rail as dumping its coins on the market, is likely to erode significant value for XRP holders. Um... The firm is located in the United States. Ripple is contending with the lack of regulatory clarity um, in the country. The U.S. The, as the Securities Exchange Commission has yet to state whether uh, XRP is token as a security, and that has a lot of implications for the firm. They're also saying that um, the price is going to move past the dollar mark. That's like one of the, the things right here. Also, traders who bought above the dollar back in 2018 might be expecting considerable selling pressure as they attempt to recoup their initial investment, likely keeping prices lower. But um, I think it is going to move beyond this dollar mark. However, a sudden spike of 92 was followed by an even sharp 45% decline, hovering between 50 cents and 60 cents. According to the crypto analyst Cointelegraph, Michael M., the XRP price stays above the support level of 0.45, then assaults, then an assault on the $1 price mark is not unlikely, um, especially uh, tailwinds from another Bitcoin push. So basically, if there's like a whole push from Bitcoin, it might, it'll might it move it above the dollar mark. And I think that's when we're going to start seeing the higher marks. It's going to have to pass the $0.60 cent mark. So XRP in a move towards the $1 price mark. For XRP, the price path um, upwards 
appears to hinge on two important milestones, the dollar psychological level and the 3.82 all-time high. I thought it was $3.32, and, and, uh, but yeah, it was $3.82 was the all-time high. And it says, presently, there are a few driving forces that could fuel a move towards this record. I think it will happen, guys. It's going to take a little while. We know XRP is like one of the most popular coins. Um, let's just say it says the if the buying pressure behind the cryptocurrency continues mounting, another breakthrough may take place in the same direction as the previous trend. As a matter of fact, the bullish pattern anticipates XRP could rise more than 65%. The bullish impact could make this thing beyond can make it go beyond this altcoin go beyond one dollar. I think that's very, um, very possible. We know um, there's a lot going on with Ripple. You you know you can buy it on all these exchanges now. It's one of the you know it is the number. I'm pretty sure it is the number two. So if you look right here, or number three cryptocurrency. You can do so many. You know you can do so many things with the cross border payments. You can make a lot more if this goes up. If we start seeing like a five dollar, ten dollar Ripple. You know we're gonna see a lot of money being made in. Crypto, I think like yeah. So Ripple is one of the best investments you can tell your friends when they first start getting into a cryptocurrency. And then um, here's another article. It says every downturn in history has ended with an upturn. Investing app helps grow savage savings and wealth, but how does inherent markets and risk factors factors in the equation? They're basically saying that um, although the current representation representation of the stock market has continually bounced back over hundreds past hundred years, not everything recovers in this time. And they're saying that um, if you look right here, every downturn ends with an upturn. Every downturn ends in an upturn. If the world is really coming to an end, it doesn't matter anyway. Just have faith in history is usually a predictor of the future. Not always, but it usually is. And usually history is a really good predictor is what they're saying here. And that's just some news that I wanted to show you. It's kind of like not that interesting, but just something to look at. Crypto, and then here's another one. It says crypto isn't disappearing and the party is just getting started. All right. So since PayPal and Square are allowing customers to purchase Bitcoin through their platforms, they think uh, crypto is here to stay. XRP has the real world utility with uh, cross-border payments. And um, in less than three to five seconds, they think that uh, they, banks will be the next to adopt crypto. A lot of uh, BitPay is applying to be a... They're applying to be a uh, bank right now with in, like over in America, so it's really good. Crypto is currently a gamble. It's inferency, but XRP could replicate what Bitcoin did as the price goes. And then it says right here, my last article about Ripple has been interesting. The value of XRP has increased by 96.68, and it's just showing like you know how much it increased during when it went from like, I think it went from .003 to the $3.80, almost $4, which is pretty crazy. Um, I've seen a uh, compelling analyst predicting it will reach XRP will reach, um, $1 and then in the short term, 10,000 in the long term. I believe XRP is solving a problem of cross, cross border payments. If you think XRP is 10,000 is crazy. Look at Bitcoin. His price is above 19,000. So, I mean, that's pretty crazy guys. These are some bullish statements in the next five to 10 years. An adoption become mainstream. The chance that XRP could create a new generation of millionaires. So, you know, that's that's a lot of good information. If you guys uh, like my channel, definitely like hit that subscribe and like button. Love you all. Stay uh, bullish on your statements. Stay, uh, you know, don't lose faith when uh, when you see the price go down a little bit. It's going to always come back up. Every downturn has an upturn. Thank you guys for watching and uh, keep watching my videos. I'm going to teach you guys how to make crypto on, actually on Tuesday, there's a new program launching for Tron. So if you guys want to get in the network and start making money, hit me up on Facebook or, you know, subscribe to my videos. Thank you.